Welcoming back to MST Learning World. In this video, we will see how to design a regular expression. So before designing a regular expression, let us see a problem. How to create a language for the closure. That is for clean closure and for positive closure. So for example, find the L closure and the L plus for the given language L equal to 0, 1, 1. So as we already know, L star closure is nothing but 0 or more occurrence of the language L. Whereas L plus is nothing but 1 or more occurrence of the language L. So you can just make L star is nothing but it includes epsilon, comma L, comma L square, comma L cube, comma L power 4, etc. So now how are we going to create this L closure for the given language? So now we have to, we already know for example, here L star is nothing but union of i equal to 0 to infinity L to the power i. So this means that L star will be equal to L naught union L1 union L2 union L3 etc. So now we need to form what is L naught for the given language L equal to 0 comma 1 1. So L naught will be nothing but epsilon. L to the occurrence of 0 times. So, if you don't have any 0 or 1, 1, it is epsilon. Then L1, that means you will have 0, 1, 1. What is L square? Which is nothing but L concatenation with L. So, L concatenation with L, that is nothing but L equal to 0, 1, 1. So, it, L square will be equal to 0, 1, 1 concatenation with 0, 1, 1. That is nothing but 0 into 0, 0 into 1, 1. So, which is nothing but 0, 0, comma 0 into 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, comma 1 into 0, 1, 1 into 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, what is L cube? L cube is nothing but L square into L. So, the same language concatenated with the above. So, it is nothing but you will have 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0 into 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 into 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Then again 0, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Similarly 1, 1 into 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Then 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Similarly 4, 1 with 0, 4, 1 with 0, comma 4, 1 with 1, 1. So this is what is LQ. So likewise you can keep on finding all the occurrence of the languages. So, now what is this L star? L star is nothing but you can just write epsilon, comma 0, comma 1, 1. Take the languages of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, comma 1, 4, 1s and you can just write the languages. So, this is how you will just find L star. And what will be L plus? L plus is nothing but the same language without epsilon. So it is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, then 4 ones, comma, then you can write all these languages. So this is how you need to find the clean closure and the positive closure of any given languages. And here you have to use only the epsilon, the closure properties along with the concatenation operation. Now let us see how to design a regular expression for any given problem. So whenever a problem is given, design a regular expression for the set of all strings a comma b with the following properties. So, so design a regular expression for the set of all strings a comma b with having a string length of 2. So having a string length of 2 in the sense what? The number of occurrence of the string must be 2. That means it should have only, it, it should have only compulsorily it should have uh, length of 2. That means only two symbols must be there. But that can be either either uh, either A or B. So, because it is a, the problem is for the set of all strings A, A comma B. But you should have only the length of the uh, string length must be only 2. That means two number of characters only should be the language of that regular expression. So, you can have A plus B followed by A plus B. I think you understood this. So, if you, your regular expression is A plus B, 
concatenation a plus b then what will be the corresponding languages for the first one you can have either a or b for the second one you can have either a or b that's all so the length of the language will only be 2 and the length of the string will only be 2 but that can be either a or b now the design regular expression for the set of all strings a comma b with 0 or more a followed by b so 0 or more a that means what a closure because star closure is nothing but 0 or more occurrence followed followed means it is concatenation so concatenation with b whenever you have 0 or more then it will be a star closure whenever you have one or more it is positive closure whenever you have a followed by then you will have concatenation whenever you have either you will have union now coming to zero or more instance of either a or b that means you can have either a or b that can be zero or more instance of occurrence that's what zero or more instances of either a or b so either a or b it is union and zero or more instance the whole closure so the designing of the regular expression is you can design it by the way you understand you must clearly differentiate and uh, you must understand the usage of each and every operators of the regular expression based on the given description now set of all strings 0 comma uh, set of all strings a comma b with the ending with the two a's so ending with two a's in the sense the end of the string must be ended with two a's but whereas Whereas it can be started with any number of A's, any number of B's because it is a set of all strings. So you can have either A plus B the whole closure into it must end with 2A. So dot AA followed by AA. That means before AA you can have any number of A's, any number of B's that can be any number of occurrence of any number of times. Now coming with the fifth problem starting with the three B's. So, it must be compulsorily started with the 3B and that 3B can also be, they have not told the number of occurrences. So, but at least once it must occur and you can have any number of occurrence also. So, plus B has to be compulsorily, it can have, it, if you are using clean closure, if you are using a positive closure or not, the problem is going to be right only. But, uh, for your clear understanding on the usage of the several operators, I am writing this. So, 3B with the positive closure and A plus B the whole closure. Because at the end you can have any occurrences of A, either A or B that can be either 0 or more occurrence of times. Now, set of all strings A comma B with A, B, A as substring. So, with A, B, A as substring. So, once A, B, A is given, so A, B, A must occur in the string. And that ABA can be either in the start or at the beginning or at the end. So before you can have A plus B the whole closure. After also you can have either occurrence of AB the whole closure. Now with at least one A. With at least one A in the sense what? You must have at least one A or more. So in your string you must have at least one A. So that is you can have A plus. That means either you can have a to the power 1a must be there with any number of a's. And there is no condition whether it has to be started or at the end. And b can have in any, any number. So you can have b closure either on both the sides. Then with at least 1b followed by either a or b. With 1b followed by. So you must have b with which is plus. Then followed by either A or B. Now coming to the second question, ends with B and does not have A. A. That means what? You must never have two A in your strings. But it should end with B. So you can end the strings with B. So write the condition of the string, uh, ultimate condition of the string. It should end with BB and that BB can be ended with any number of times. That the, you can have either one or two number of B's, but at last you must have a single B and it should not have AA. That means you can have either you can have AB or you can have if you if you use BA, BA means 
either a b a b then b a if you are using a b a if this things b a comes then you cannot have so b a cannot be having so you can have b b the whole condition so you will not have for this condition you will neither you will uh, never have the occurrence of two a's now coming to the last one the set of all strings a comma b with three consecutive b's at the end so three consecutive b's at the end which can be one or more occurrence of time before you can have either a or b with zero or more occurrence of time so i think you understood whenever you design a regular expression the main thing is you have to see the descriptions of the regular expression if you have either then you should go for using union if you have followed by you should use concatenation and if you have zero or more you should use a star closure if you have one or more you should use positive closure and whenever you are designing the regular expression you should clearly first design it for the minimum condition and then you should start with for all the possible set of all strings so if you have any doubts for designing the regular expression for any specific set of problems you can just kindly comment me on the channel do not forget to share like and subscribe the channel thank you